B-Wing Red One will be assaulting an Imperial TIE Fighter staging area. Watch out for enemy patrols and TIE Fighters escaping from containers. All of the containers that make up this facility must be destroyed. Destroy any TIE Fighters parked nearby as well. B-Wing! I'm excited. We get to fly b -wing. It's good times. Now, you may have noticed over the course of this series, we have destroyed... Destroyed? Destroyed? Roughly a, um... Uh, to, um... A shitload of Imperial Starfighters. But, we have destroyed a comparatively small number of capital ships and you know, stuff that can carry those starfighters. So the Imperials are having a tough time, you know, getting starfighters to where they need to be, so they are making a whole lot more, and we're gonna just blow them up before they can ship them out to the places that they need to be. In a beat wing. Oh, it's a good one. All right, so lasers and shields are going up. Oh, we have gunboats ahead of us. Container, 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 containers. Whole lot of containers and mines. Wow, that's a lot of mines. And they're launching ties. Our top speed at the moment is 45. That's not amazing. Um, and we have missiles incoming. Yeah. And apparently, uh, don't have any sort of R2 unit or anything to yell at us about incoming missiles. Oh boy. Those shields just disappeared, didn't they? Ugh. I am quite slow, aren't I? Oh, okay, so this is a B Wing. Uh, I like the cockpit view. I'll give you I'll give you that. It's very um slopy. But you can you can see what I mean when I say that it seems to shoot low. I wish the uh, reticle was a little bit higher if the laser's gonna shoot in the same direction, like, the same area that they are now, with regards to the reticle, because it feels like they shoot a bit low. That's a, at least my experience with using this in simulators. See, because if I'm tracking upwards like that, he has to be off my screen. I don't know, maybe it's just I'm used to having the, um, the X-Wing shots come from above and the A-Wing shots come from more or less directly to the side. Whereas the lasers for this are situated like directly below the cockpit. You know, it's in that, it's in that T formation. All right, so, um, according to the law, the B-Wing has crazy good shields. So, presumably, we should be able to take quite a few hits. Now we can set our lasers to a single or to thirds. We also have ion cannons here, as you can see, singles or thirds. And we also have 12 proton torpedoes. Not 12 missiles, 12 proton torpedoes. Should be uh, three torpedoes to destroy a container, and we have to destroy all the containers. They said in the mission that that should be enough to deal with us, like to do us. Oh, that, yeah, that, that, uh, that laser pattern takes some getting used to. Okay, uh, they said in the mission that those 12 missiles should do us, that means there should be four containers, if my math is right. Um, it's a TIE fighter, he's, yep, he's trying to circle us, he's doing something. Oh, yeah! So also in the lore, the uh, B-Wings have a ridiculous amount of firepower, but they handle like trucks. Uh, personally, I've never driven a truck, but I, uh, I can see the comparisons. They are quite slow. Um, it almost feels like um, we're sitting still when I turn around. But I do have the shields and laces turned up to full, although since our shields are now full, I'm gonna uh, lighten up a bit on that. So, what have we got? Um, we're just dogfighting ties. Dogfighting ties in a beer. 
Oh, okay. So, where are these containers? They are, yeah, okay. So, that, nope, that container is about 10 away. That container is about 8 away. This TIE Fighter is right freaking behind me. So, I'm gonna head over this way at least a little bit. Bounce out those shields, get some shield regen in there. And, uh, pull my lasers into it, because I'm... Oh, that one. The bird's going crazy. Um... Yeah, it's just the one tie on us. So, uh, if we get the distance which we can get locks on containers, I think it might be the same as, uh, you know, capital ships and that sort of thing. Uh, it says there's five containers there. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. I mean, we can take the shields down of all of them, and then, um, uh, red lock, please. Take the shields down of all of them, and then destroy two just with missiles. Uh, uh, I might just destroy the, uh, four of them, and then take one out with lasers. Sounds good to me. Yeah, like... This, this ship has so much in terms of shields that I'm not even bothered about those tires. If I was in an X-Wing, I would be uh, shitting myself because they've done a couple passes at us and I can just go, yeah, I'll just throw power back into my shields. Whatever. Okay. Now, switching back over to lasers and let's deal with these two TIE Fighters. Okay. Where are we? Oh, hey. Ah, no, not quite. Yeah, I feel like I've got to aim high. Yeah, unless they dodge me like that. Yeah, higher than I normally would, but not too high. I don't want to overcompensate, you know? He's damaged, I like that. Um, did I see a thing about... Gu yeah, gunboat's coming in. Oh, someone's got a lock on me. That's not great. That's a missile. Can I turn in time? Okay. Now those gunboats are going to be interesting to go head to head with, you know? Because they fire a lot of shots, as you can see, and we're not so great at dodging. Now, X Wings are also not the best at dodging, but they are much better than B Wings. Faster, nimbler. And also with an X-Wing, I know where to put my reticle to actually shoot people. Oh, hold still. Ugh. Wrench the controls around. There we go. Okay. Damage TIE Fighter, where are you? Over there. Let's fill the area with laser fire. There we go. Alright, someone else trying to get a lock on us. I also appreciate that, um when someone has a lock on us with uh, a B-Wing, we get a bit more uh, sort of feedback about the fact that someone's got a lock. We get a big flashing light saying lock, or it doesn't flash, you know what I mean. See it flashing there to be like, oh, they're getting a lock, and then the moment they get a lock, it will actually say lock. It'll be big and obvious. Um, whereas before, with uh, the X-Wing and stuff, it just changes colour and it's not as noticeable. This is uh, it's a good change. Makes it, uh, oh, come on, much more immediately noticeable. So if you're in the middle of a dogfight, you can uh, you can tell. You know, it's, it's not going to slip your mind, sort of thing. Although if they had like a beeping, I think that would also help. Like a beep, 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 beep. But maybe that would add too much tension to the thing. Now, the thing with uh, the B-Wing is, I don't feel like I have to modify my speed as much. Because I'm going so slow, I can turn really, really sharply. Which means that I can do all this one-handed. Which means I can drink tea at the same time. Ugh, oh great. Captain Picard would approve. Now, where are you? There you are. 
Mm, should I bother with this guy, or should I go clear that minefield? What do you guys think? Um, if you think I'm doing the wrong thing here, just let me know. Yeah. Sure, the YouTube commenters will get mean to me eventually. They've all been pretty good so far, actually. You guys have all been kind of nice. Alright, there's a tug there. I'm going to kill the tug. No, I'm going to go, I'm going to clear this minefield. Okay. So, let's, um, where is the minefield? It's, uh, well, it's actually still a while away. Yeah. Okay, so, keeping our lasers, well, our shields up. Um, yeah, see, so that's the weird, I'm trying to leave it in the one spot, and it's turning away. Looks like we get that with a beaming as well. That TIE Fighter was really close. Oh my god. Okay. So, those are the closest mines. Yeah, this will be a proper test of the B-Wing shields. Fly into the middle of a minefield. Yeah, drop the lasers and shields a little bit there because, dear god, we're going slow. Um, as soon as I get to 1-5, I'll throw them back up and coast in. That's close enough. Okay then. Okay. Yep, there's that one, and there's that one. Cool. Feeling good about this. Okay. Hmm. Beaming in minefield, beaming in minefield. Hmm. It's, uh, it's feeling alright. I guess the, uh, not being so confident with where my shots are going to land, because I'm not so used to flying this, is going to make it tougher. I also have to fall back a little bit there, because the shields, although good, are not quite as buff as I thought, and we still have ties flying around. Okay. Ties. Um, because the, the ties combined with the, uh, well, the ties combined with the mines are going to make this quite difficult. You know what? Maybe you'd like an oil can. Okay. Mostly balancing here. Alright, let's get some distance from those mines. And we're gonna have to loop back around. Yeah, Beeling is very slow. This is my first time trying the campaign, by the way. I've uh, had brief attempts at the not helping. I've had brief attempts at some of the uh, historical missions flying a B-Wing, but uh, nothing, nothing too serious. No, I should really just, I should gun it for that container. So I think that's where those ties are launching from. So I'm going to go above a bit. That's torpedoes, that's lasers. Okay. Sort of keep an eye on the scopes, just guess sort of when I'm directly above it. Yeah, getting there, getting there. I wonder what the other views look like. No, they're all scopes aside from up and down, so there's no rear view of any sort. Okay, how many ties got? Two, three. Oh, we got a few ties. A few too many, you know. Where is container? Okay, container is now behind us. Directly behind us. So, let's charge up our lasers fully. Back, we'll switch to uh, ions for a second. Okay. Now that our regular lasers are full. See, it's doing that thing again where I can't properly... Uh, that, there we go. Found a sweet spot. Okay. Shields full forward. Shields down. Okay. Popping those shields back up. Okay, cool. So now we have one, two, three, four. Uh, let's start on the other side of the mine, shall we? <laughs> We're finding out how many 
Uh, tires are out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve tires. Okay. You can do that. It's fine. Especially because I think some of the tires are just parked. They're not actually trying to engage us. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. No problem. No problems at all. I'm not worried. I mean, I should probably be worried. So that's a lot of tires, and I've probably just allowed too many of them to be launched from that thing. But it'll be okay. I don't even I don't trust myself to fire these uh, triple linked shots, you know. So I don't I don't feel like I can get a hit with more than one. So I think I'm just gonna have to single fire all the B-wing stuff until I get a bit more confident, you know. But, hey, I figure there's going to be a time for us to get used to flying a B-Wing. It's going to be in the B-Wing campaign, you know? Now, I do feel much safer flying a B-Wing. I feel really sturdy. Really sturdy. But, too slow. I do feel too slow. I think there's people, people have come over. Probably my baby cousins. Probably. They don't live too far away. They like to come over and play with my bird. Ooh, hull damage. That's good. Nice. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I like the, um, I like the center shot. That seems to go right where I want it, but the left and the right don't quite seem to. That center laser, though, it's good. It's good. I, actually, think about it. I'd like to fly an E-Wing. Ewings would be cool. Get on it, Disney. No, they wouldn't get on it. Okay. Yeah, see, six of those tires are parked. They're just sitting there. It's good. I like the idea of TIE fighters sitting around doing nothing. Makes me feel good. Good to go. Okay. Actually, now that I've... I don't know if you heard that or not. Uh, my dad got a soda stream last Christmas, and he's been loving it. Um, all year, all year he's been loving it. And he always, um, sometimes I think he does it just for the sound, because it sounds like a, um, so you put you, it's like a water thing, and then you, you gas the water, essentially, you make your own soda water. And he, uh, he loves the fart sound that it makes. Because he is mature. Mature as fuck. Okay, so yeah, our shields have gone right down. But I still feel like we have as much shields in that single layer as an X-Wing does in both layers. Definitely isn't as an A-Wing does in both layers. Oh, it's close. That is, okay, last mine. Okay. So we have one tie flying around. We've got a nav boy. Those six park ties, and we have that tug. Okay. We've got two ties flying around, maybe three. Alrighty, where are you? Where are you? Nice. Oh. Here's those front shields. Ah. <sighs> Quite calming, you know. I'm liking, I'm liking this whole one-handed flying and drinking some tea. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep on throwing stuff into my shields. And then once they're full, I'm gonna drop the shield recharge so we can actually get a bit of speed and maybe see how well we can dogfight properly. Okay, they're in green, but that doesn't mean that. Um, they're full. No, see, your shields aren't full. Do we have other... I think we got one other TIE fighter flying around, but the rest are all parked. Okay, come on. Oh, he's damaged. Okay, those shields are full. Let's drop them like that, get some speed, and our speed goes up to... 68. Wow. Okay, there is not going to be much dogfighting in this campaign, I fear. There will probably be, um, 
probably be a lot of, you know, blowing up capital ships, which I'm cool with. Because that's what the B-Wing's designed for. Those 12 proton torpedoes. Mm. Nice. Okay, right. Hold still, buddy. Okay, let's see if I can get this triple shot working. Triple. Nope. Triple. Nope. Hold still, please. Triple. Nope. Oh, my screen has gone black on the laptop recording. And, yeah, that's weird. I don't remember setting a um, screensaver, but apparently there's a screensaver on that thing. Oh, where are you? Hello. Now, actually, I wonder if you guys can help me. There's um, There's been a weird thing happening where my, um, my audio and video in the... Um, in the face cam recording, this one, will uh, go completely out of sync, and sometimes by like two or three minutes. And so I'll have a whole load of blank audio at the end of it to sort of catch up with the, with the video, and it's, uh, it's weird and I don't know what's causing it. So sometimes it'll start out of sync, sometimes it'll just end up there. But I do not understand why it's happening. If anyone knows, or could help me, or suggest some sort of uh, software which would be better to use, of course I'd rather that be free software because I am poor, as you may have noticed. Oh, hold still, god damn. Oh, there we are, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm, uh, I'm starting to think maybe it's like... Oh. Maybe it's something to do with, uh, sometimes the laptop screen goes black because the, uh, recordings have been a bit longer, you know, who knows, who knows. Anyway, well, that's quite quick. Okay, let's get some laser recharge, and where are you? There's, there's something, there it is, there's the tug. Alright, Mr. Tugboat. Drop those shields. Get some laser regen. Actually, we can have that like this. Okay. I'm gonna destroy the tug. Pretty much just a cockpit with an engine. And like a tractor beam. Push and pull stuff. Okay. He's coming in now. Question is, is he moving? I don't think he is. I think he's just chilling. But I wanna blow him up anyway. In fact, I think I have to. I think it's part of the mission. Oh. I was going way too fast. I thought that would be a bit more... Oh, there's bombers. There's bombers. No, no, I want to kill them. And there's a Corvette. And there's bombers. Where's the tug? I want to... Okay, I guess I ran into the tug and killed it. Right. Well. There we go. Yes. Uh, it's very slow, the B-Wings. Very slow, lots of firepower, lots of shields. I would like a bit more speed. I would like, um... Yeah, I'm not a fan of where the, where the guns are located. It feels, for me, it feels quite hard to line those up with, you know, what I'm shooting at because it, it, it never really goes straight to the center. It always, it's somewhere within that radical. And with the X-Wing, it's going at those four, four spots. So if you've got a TIE Fighter coming straight at you, you can actually miss the TIE Fighter, just going on all sides of the cockpit. But you can adjust that by um, waving around a bit. And if you set it for a single shot, then it will be like, yes, this single shot will hit. And I guess it'll do the same with the B-Wing, but you know, it's just, some sort of getting used to it that you have to do with the A-wing it's and the uh, A-wing and the Y-wing. It's really easy to judge because either side of it, either side, it's fine. It'll hit. Even coming dead on to a uh, a Tie Fighter, the Y-wing's one will will always hit dead onto a Tie Fighter because they're very very close together. They'll actually get the Tie Fighter dead center. The uh, A-wings will uh, generally clip those uh, those pylons on either side of the eye if you line up straight on him. Yeah. It, anyway. Um, We'll uh, see you next time.